going to talk about an uh, experience I had in psychotherapy to illustrate the point that it's important in some cases to have the client just make a decision, a big decision. And my experience came back when I was doing my clinical psychology internship long ago. I was working on a, in a hospital, a medical school hospital, on a service called Consultation Liaison. And for that service, psychologists would be consulted by physicians about some medical problem uh, of a patient, usually always an inpatient. And so I was consulted about a woman who was on the maternity ward. She uh, was in the hospital. Uh, she was a, f a few months pregnant. She was in the hospital because she had hyperemesis gravidarum which is a very serious disorder for a pregnant woman. It involves hyperemesis, hyper-vomiting, uh, which is dangerous both to the woman and to the fetus. Both could die uh, unless she stopped vomiting or reduced her vomiting. So the physicians were treating her with the drugs which have their own dangers for the fetus. Uh, the, the treatment was not working and that's how I ended up being consulted as a psychology resident. So I went to see her and I uh, tried to show warmth and provide support to her and find out what was going on with her. And her situation was uh, she had children before. Uh, she was inclined to uh, carry through this pregnancy. Her husband wanted her to abort the pregnancy and so she saw herself as in a bind and she couldn't decide what to do. And she felt very, very stressed being in that situation. I suggested to her that being on a fence like that with regard to a huge decision uh, it can be very stressful to a person and it might be useful for her to just make the decision however she makes it. I suggested to her the decision was hers, it's her body, but obviously it's important to consider her husband and his views in this. So I talked with her about that, suggested she think about it, talk about it with her primary physician, and then make a decision and that might alleviate the pressure she's feeling and might end the vomiting. So I wrote a note in her file and uh, asked her physician, suggested her physician talk with her. Uh, he did talk with her that evening. She decided then to have the baby, uh, went to sleep, woke up the next morning. When I came to see her, she was happy as a lark. She was visiting the other expected mothers or recent mothers and she had decided to uh, to have that baby. The vomiting was over and it did not return. And so my conclusion from this experience was sometimes for clients the most important thing to do is just make a decision.